<laughs> I should have known better. <laughs> Back to our stupid reaction videos. This is Corbon. I'm Rick Khan. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. All juicy. It's so It's all about. Juicy. I don't know. Yeah. And follow us on our own personal YouTube channels. We have Parson on your YouTube channels. We have Parson on YouTube. Parson off. That's where there's more juicy content. Yeah, you just reacted to WAP, right? I to what? WAP. WAP, right? You saw WAP. I did. You I saw reacted to WAP. WAP? I did. And so did Ashley. It was really Ashley's reaction. I was giving a commentary on Ben Shapiro and Russell Brand's takes on it and then watched it with Ashley. That's the, really the money part of that is watching Ashley watch it. Ben, ben, ben Sharpo's a moron. <laughs> Anyways, uh, today uh, we are reacting to a uh, sound oh. uh, So, Avi, <laughs> we made a mistake. Because uh, we, the one we did recently, um, we'd seen him before. Yeah. He was in the face-off, but we didn't realize that. Oh, really? No, we didn't realize that at the time. That he was part of the face-off that, that the, the... He was? Yeah. Yeah, he was. We're morons. But that's why it's called our stupid reactions. Well, he, maybe he just didn't do the same kind of vocal gymnastics. No, he did. Because he did? Oh, yeah. You go back and watch. Because we were equally we're so stupid. gobsmacked during the face-off. Uh, with those two during the a, yeah. Indian Idol, I think it is. Um, but we didn't put two and two together because it was like ten months apart. Really? So we've had hundreds of reactions yeah. since then. Okay. But same. But uh, this is All him, right. and we know he actually has done some Bollywood stuff. But apparently, it wasn't like they like auto tuned him for some god knows what reason. Why the freak would you need to auto tune him? Yeah, that makes no sense. Why the freak would you have to auto tune anybody? Just saying. Some That's one of the things some, I love. Some rappers. When you listen to like Michael Jackson from just pretty much anything he did, you listen to Barbara Streisand, you listen to the stuff from the 70s, there was no such thing as auto tune. You either, you either had to sing or get out. No, Freddie Mercury was tuned. <laughs> nope. <laughs> sing or get out. Anyways, this is uh, him singing a song live. Great. Uh, Mire Ra Rashke Kamar, which I believe is a popular song. Uh, from a film. Cool. Uh, I don't know it, but here we go. Awesome.
pick it up. We had clean audio, obviously. That, that was what I was gonna say. Yeah, you can't fault them for that, because. But anytime you could, obviously, he, especially towards the beginning when he was doing his, sign, I'm guessing it's a signature thing for him now. Right. When he goes to, ah, I can't. Obviously, I can't do that. <laughs> no, yeah, you have to be an alto, which is what she is. So he's an alto. He's not a tenor. He's he's. So they're he's, the same. Yeah, they were singing in the exact same key, same I range, same notes. Because I'm used to hearing it. It's just they're. He was exactly where she is. He was in an octave below. They were in the exact same know, place. So crazy. I don't even know you know that. But yeah, whenever he does that, even in a poor quality um, sound that you get in this, um, you can hear. You can hear. It's yeah. it's like orgasmic to the ears. Yeah, it's like it's like, whoa, that, <laughs> that's beautiful. It's an <laughs> eargasm. <laughs> it's one of those things. He has that talent, and I. I just, from what I've heard, read in the comments of the stuff that when we were all like, okay, get him into Bollywood, get him into whatever he wants to do, get him singing. If that's true, that somebody auto-tuned this man, that is one of the biggest crimes of the century. <laughs> to the, the only reason you would need to auto-tune him, like anybody who can sing, is if for some reason they were having a weird thing happen with their monitor in their ear, the monitor underneath. There's some technical glitch where they really can't hear the pitch where they're in. Other than that, he doesn't need auto tune. No, it's ridiculous. He has one of the most gorgeous voices I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, and they can't help. It was a fact that was caught on the camera. Yeah, it was caught. It was actually on um, his own uh, YouTube channel, so he posted this. Yeah, so from um, somebody in the front row at a concert. Somebody That's, filmed it on it a great. camera. <laughs> Obviously, you can't fault him for it being in camera's at all. audio. It was actually funny. One time he went so high, this camera's audio couldn't even pick up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was too, too, too it was high. Too high for this camera's if audio. I'm not mistaken, when he did it, I started to hear dogs howling in the neighborhood. <laughs> because was, he's amazing. He's, he's just incredible. Amazing. Uh, send us anything he does. Obviously, please make sure the quality is of. And another thing, this isn't related to the singing, but uh, um, there's so many endearing physical traits that from the very get go have loved about people from India. Everything from the head nod to the hand gestures. Mm -hmm. And while I was watching him, because he was doing the quintessential, the hand gesture, in the world of public speaking, that's one of the things that you're taught as a public speaker is if you're in front of people, one of the most inviting things you can do are open hand gestures. Mm -hmm. One of the worst things that you can do actually for public speaking is pointing. Even though it feels accentuated from your, your side, it feels accusatory from the audience's side. Mm -hmm. So you'll notice, like this is a lot of politicians, they do this when they're making a point, yeah, I know. I hate uh, it. It, it. There's a reason. I know why. Yeah, and it's such. You hate it because it seems so disingenuous. Tried and disingenuous. Yeah. I know, but the I bring that up because it's just India and Indian people and the culture have so many just inherently inviting, open, warm mm -hmm. uh, expressions in what they do. Just happy, warm, and inviting expressions in their artistry. I miss it because obviously when I was in India, I was doing the head nod a lot, uh -huh. and it was um, involuntary. Of course, everybody else was doing it, and so you're like, ah, Marachu. And, <laughs> <laughs> and it is. Ask anybody who's with me. I just uttered that. It's constant. It's a trait. Um, as actors, a very common thing for actors to do, and it's not just to the realm of the actor, but it's a very common thing to you know after you watch Pirates of the Caribbean. You walked out talking like Jack Sparrow because it just it just happens. I tell you, I always do that. That was even it before. Just, it happens. So I'll be talking to somebody, and I've had to watch myself. You mirror them, and it's a imitation is the highest form of flattery. Uh, I started doing it. We were watching. I, I remember the first comments of Stupid Baby's going, "Did Rick just do the head nod?" And I notice when I talk to people, sometimes I'll make an accentuated point, and I'll I'll do this because we've just seen it so much, and it's grown on us. It's a, it's a. Acha. You were doing that a lot when you were on the trip. No, it's a tika 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 tika. You were doing acha well, all the time. Acha, but yeah. then there's also tika 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 tika. Badla? Huh? Huh? Badla? Meaning? No, tika means. Uh, no, no, no. I said badla. Meaning, uh, meaning. Like what? Badla means revenge, right? 
there's there's badla and then there's badla. Oh, I don't know. What you're right? No. Yeah, it happens all the time. There's like, me, what did you say? What do you mean? Huh? Meaning badla? Zindagi. <laughs> That's the other word I know. Life and dil. If you sing to life, to life, lachaim, it's zindi, zindagi, zindagi. I'm planning on making the yes, the Hindi Indian version. version of Fiddler on the Roof. It would be amazing. Oh. And who would play Tevia? Big B. He's too old now. He's too old. Also, I think he's too lanky to play Tevia. I need a chubby guy. Okay, so who are you going to have play Tevia? Let me think here. For some reason, um, Saif, for some reason, comes to my mind, and he's not nearly <laughs> old enough to play no. uh, Tevia. Of course, Nawaz could do it, just give him anything, but uh, that's not who I'm going to say. Hmm. You know who could do it? Who? He'd put on some weight and he'd be fantastic. Oh. Manoj. Manoj Bajpai. Oh, yeah, he could do it. He'd be spectacular. Or, or Mohana. He's already, he's already, yeah. he could definitely do These, it. Yeah, yeah, it's a good choice. Yeah, anyway, Mohana we digress. Yeah, that's not anything to do with this. This is wow. great. Let us know more. <laughs> Dina, 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 Dina,